This is the video tutorial for exercise three, problem number 13. This problem covers how to cite a, uh, an opinion that you only find on Westlaw. Now, the strong preference of the blue book and of most readers is to get a citation to a print reporter. However, if one is not available or if it hasn't been assigned yet, you can cite to an internet source as you did in problem 11, or you can cite to a Westlaw or Lexis um, unique database identifier. Okay, so as with all the other cases, let's not worry about that yet. Let's first worry about the case name. So the case name given to us is in the matter of Donna L. Robertson. We know that we're going to get rid of Donna L because 1021 G tells us to only include the last name. And so the question is what to do with in the matter of and rule 1021 B. Also, its counterpart in the blue pages, B10.1.1 sub 4, tell you that in the matter of should be abbreviated to N. Ray. And so it's going to be N. Ray Robertson. You'll italicize that, an unitalicized comma after, and a space, and you're done with that. <clears throat> Next, because this is a case that does not have a print publisher citation, it's covered by Rule 10.8, just as number 10 was, uh, sorry, number 11 was. And so we go to 10.8, and we see in the examples given for Westlaw sites, we start with the docket number, just as we did for number 11. And here the docket number is 114083. <coughs> Excuse me. Following that, we give the unique database identifier from Westlaw 2015 WL6438288. Following that is the court and date parenthetical. Here, unlike uh, with number 11, which is a US, U.S. Supreme Court case where we could leave that off because we assume that if there's no abbreviation and no other indication of another court, that we're dealing with U.S. Supreme Court. But here, we don't have any indication of what court it is, and we're not dealing with U.S. Supreme Court. We're dealing with the Supreme Court of Alabama, so we need to give the abbreviation for the Supreme Court of Alabama. We turn to the... Um, Alabama section of T1, look at the Supreme Court, and immediately next to the word Supreme Court, you see in parentheses ALA period, indicating that that's the abbreviation we use for the Supreme Court of Alabama. Because this is an online source, we're going to give the exact date with the month abbreviated according to Table 12, and so it's February 13, 2015, and then close that out with a period and we're done there. So the reader has all the information the reader needs. The reader knows the name of the case, knows that the case was the Alabama Supreme Court, February 13, 2015, and has a way to find the case on Westlaw using that unique database identifier. And so even though it's not a print citation, it still contains all of the basic components of a print citation in that we have something to call it, some place to find it, and um, what the court and the date so we know how valid the decision is. <clears throat> 